fellas, fall your ass back. Fall your ass back. Listen, y'all can't be trying to force y'all agenda on these girls. You cannot force what you want on these chicks, your feelings on this girl. That's not how you get them. That is not how you, and I know why y'all think that, because as a man, you think, yo, that's what I want. I'm going to go out and get it. That's not how it works with women. A lot of times with women, you got to do the opposite of what you think is right. And that's just how it's got to be. Some of y'all want y'all exes back. Some of y'all see y'all exes just trying you in your face and doing disrespectful shit, talking behind your back, flirting with other guys in front of you, trying you in your face. And you think, oh man, I'm, I'm just going to stand here and, and watch her. And when she looks at me, she's going to feel bad. That's not going to happen, bro. That girl is single. She don't belong to you. She don't belong to the dude she flirting with. She don't belong to anybody. She belongs to the world. Y'all gonna have to understand that this backwards thinking is just how it is. Women don't think like us. And y'all should start trying to think like them because they really don't give a fuck. They don't care. They just out here living their life. Some of these girls out here trying to be the best hoes that they can possibly be. And you sitting there waiting, waiting for the chance to save her. You're not saving shit. You're not saving her, bro. She's out here having fun, living her life. You should be doing the same. You out here focused on a girl. What is she even doing for you? Do she pay your bills? That's what I, that's the, the main thing I want to ask y'all is how y'all getting y'all bills paid? You know what I'm saying? Who's bringing value to whose life? Because when she sees your ass trying to give her all these feelings, caring so much, that's not bringing value to her. That's not bringing, her value is excitement. Her value is some dick. You think she's trying to get your feelings or she's trying to get some dick? That's going to be part of the reason why. I'm telling you, that's going to be part of the reason why. You can't even have her back. Y'all want to get your exes back. Why do you think the pullback method is what you got to do? Why do you think you got to fall back and let her come to you? Because countless of other guys be trying, 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 trying. Let me show more effort. Let me show her I care more. That's gonna bring that's gonna make her understand. A lot of these bitches out here is heartless. They more savage than y'all. They colder than y'all. These these females out here are colder than y'all. And y'all will have a rose and a teddy bear ready for these bitches after they get done getting piped out by all these other dudes and you sitting there waiting. Are you are you done hoeing? Are, are you ready to settle down? I'm ready to save you. No, put that all to the side, bro. And some of y'all be lying to y'all selves. Some of y'all swear you don't care. Bro, I don't care about these hoes. Fuck these hoes, man. All right, bro. But can you tell me why this girl is falling out of my rotation, bro? Why, why she ain't trying to hit me up? Why she ain't trying to see me? All right, bro, show me the messages. What it look like? I take a look at the messages. I want to see the conversation. What happened, bro? Show me the conversation. You swear you don't care, but you responded to her messages one minute, two minutes after she sent some shit. And she sent a simple few words, but you respond with a flat, a big ass paragraph. And she come back with a, okay, what? Are you serious? And you telling me you don't care. That means you care, bruh. That means you care a lot. And that's why she flaking on your ass. That's why she ain't trying to get up with you. Cause you fucking up. That's why. You think that she wants you. See, y'all give these options. Y'all think y'all really giving these hoes options? Like, okay, well, we can reschedule here. How's that for you? And you just setting yourself up for the availability trap. Because you care too much. You care to, okay, well, you can't make this. Let's reschedule right now. No. Punish that bitch. Punish her. If she didn't even give you notice, she need to get that punishment. You care too much. You finna reset the date the next day. What's a more convenient time for you? No, that's not how it's supposed to be. What about you, bro? Aren't you grinding? Don't be fucking your schedule up for her. That means you care. When you don't care, okay, leave that bitch to the side. Let her respond to you. She coming back to you. That means you don't give a fuck. 
Why is she coming back when you don't give a fuck? Because you putting something over her. If your time is valuable, you put that shit over her. That's why she comes back. She knows that you ain't all infatuated with her. She knows that you don't care so much. It's crazy how that sounds. It's so backwards, but that's how the shit works. That's how it works. She wants something that she can't even have. She wants something she can't have anytime she wants that. And I can't give it to you. Because I'm grinding. I'm, I'm focused on my shit. I suggest y'all niggas get on y'all shit too. You wouldn't be having this problem. You wouldn't care so much. You wouldn't be focused on, oh, I wonder what she's doing right now. You care. Stop acting. Stop saying you don't care, bro. You care. That's why she ain't coming to you. Girls get mad at me all the time and see me out in public. I'm like, hey, I was busy. They want to be mad about that shit, but they can't even be mad about it because they know what I'm chasing. They know what I'm after. I'm not I'm not focused on her. You're, you're not the focus. You know the reason why a girl can get mad about a guy who, who didn't respond to her message, who didn't meet up with her and link up with her when she wanted to? Because she's so used to guys always being around her all the time. Guys always trying to get up with her. But when she see that one guy that's okay, Nah, I can't get him like this. I'm not going to be able to get up with him all the time when I want to. That's right. You can't. Because I'm focused on my shit. I'm not worried about you. That's the truth. She going to find that more attractive. If you actually own your shit. If you out here bullshitting. Oh, I'm just going to wait. If you think a simple waiting game with texting is going to be enough. That's not enough. Y'all going to have to get out of that mode. Sooner or later, y'all going to have to get off your ass and actually do some shit. For real, for real. And actually be about it. Because the guys that... The guys that's actually focused on some shit... They know that that has to take precedence. That's number one. The guys that's kind of half-assing some shit... Oh, they'll put that shit to the side. Oh, well, I was doing this, but... Here, you can come in... No, I can't do that, baby. That's how it's gotta be. And I ain't going back on my word. I told you what the situation was, and that's what it is. Get out of that logical thinking that you're trying to put on these women. You're trying to figure them out. Ain't no figuring shit out. Figure yourself out. Figure out. Put that. No. Put that logical thinking to your fucking grind. And she going to see that. She going to respect that shit. She going to start chasing you. She know that you're going to be putting that first. So she knows that when she's able to. When y'all link up. She know that. Okay. That's going to be the time. Because I ain't going to be able to get up with this guy all the time. I can't. He's not going to be able to see me. Sometimes I don't even want to see females. Honestly, because I know they're a distraction. And what happens? They be trying to chase me harder. And I don't even I don't even try. Sometimes I try to avoid some of these females. My purpose has gotten so important to me to the point where I try to avoid females sometimes. I will have periods where I go out and I just try to have fun and I run into these girls that I know I've been with or I know that I've talked to or some shit. And I just hit them with a... They can't even be mad at me. You can't be mad at me. Because you know what I'm on. And if she is mad, I ain't got no problem with chucking... Chucking the deuces. And that's it. I got something more important than vagina. Y'all just too focused on pussy. Y'all care about the pussy. Y'all cradle the pussy. I don't cradle shit. I don't cradle none of that. Pussy is leisure to me. That is a leisure activity. I'm not focused on pussy pussy. That's what y'all do. Y'all focus on pussy pussy and wonder why the pussy's running away. But when you stop caring, that pussy start coming back. You start reeling that pussy in. It's crazy how that shit just be coming to you. Just coming to you. Somehow you just start attracting pussy when you ain't after it. That's how that works. You chasing it ain't gonna bring it to you. Fall your ass back. And let the pussy come to you. I don't care if it's an ex-girlfriend. I don't care if it's a chick in your rotation. Fall your ass back and let her come to you. Maybe you could take that time, all that energy you focus on the pussy and put it towards your goals. She going to see you leveling up. And that pussy going to get even wetter. You thought it was wet last time? This bitch coming back with Aquafina for your ass. She going to be ready for you. Because she ain't had you. Because she can't have you. 